Good morning. Um, you need a towel or you can use um, like the top of a Tupperware container for class. We're gonna use it as a glider. And if you have a glider, you can use that instead. Um, and you can just fold your mat in half to give you, you know, plenty of room behind you. And at some point we'll unfold it all the way. But for now, <coughs> excuse me, we're recovering from <clears throat> sinus infection, so I have a bit of a cough. Um, you can just fold your mat in half and we'll get started in just one second. All right, so have, have your towel just nearby and uh, you can just fold it into a little square and then leave it off to the side, but we're gonna use it in a minute. Um, you'll essentially be like cleaning your floor with it, so it will need to be washed afterwards. I wouldn't uh, use like a nice towel, I guess. Uh, and from here, go ahead and come onto your hands and knees. Your feet can be off of the mat on the floor and you're just gonna find a nice long spine here. Take a nice big inhale. And as you inhale, feel your ribs expand wide to the sides and your belly drop a little. And then exhale, feel your ribs draw towards one another, your hip bones draw towards one another, keeping your spine nice and long. And then inhale here. And then on your exhale, press into your hands, your knees, your feet, and round your spine up towards the ceiling. And then on your exhale, start to widen through the sitting bones, lengthen through the front of your body, and find that nice extension. And then again, inhale, or exhale rather, as you press up towards the ceiling. And then inhale. Find that extension. Think about dragging the heels of your hands back toward your knees, and then press up around. And then one more time, find that nice extension. And then pause with your spine in a nice neutral pelvis. So the distance between your ribs and your hips isn't gonna change here. But you're gonna think about, uh, it's not gonna change rounding flexion, but it is gonna change. Your rib and hip are gonna get closer together on the right side. As you hike your right hip up, reach back with your left sitting bone. And then come back to center. Think about lengthening that right side. And then over to the left, so you're gonna hike your left hip, lengthen that right side of your body, and then come back to the center. One more time, keeping your upper body pretty still, just moving those hips. Reach back, last one to the left like this, and reach back. Now you're gonna look over your right shoulder, even bring your right shoulder blade towards that hip, and then come all the way over nice and smoothly to the right, or to the left side rather, same thing, look over that left shoulder. And then up and over to the right and to the left. Really thinking about lengthening through that side of your body as you C-curve over to the other side. Two more. Once more to the right. Staying in that nice neutral, just side bend over to the left and then come to the center and then round your spine up towards the ceiling here. And then find one more nice extension. And then find that nice neutral spine again here. And you're going to press your hands into the floor and you're going to feel your shoulder blades press away from another rounding through the upper back. Low back stays the same. And you're going to let your shoulder blades slide towards one another. Your sternum drops towards the floor. And then lift the sternum, press the shoulder blades away from one another, and then let them slide back in. Just gliding your shoulder blades along your back. Your elbows stay nice and straight. Check in with your back that you haven't started arching and rounding, that low back rather. And press up, two more. And back down, last one. And then pause in that nice neutral pelvis. And then here you're gonna do sort of the same but opposite. So tuck that tailbone under, just round the low back. Upper back stays the same. And then find width through the sitting bones, arching that low back. And then round the low back and arch. Again, upper body stays still. And round and lower, just isolating here through the hips, 
for two. And last one. And then center, find that nice neutral. From here, take your towel and put it under your right foot. Again, have your mat folded in half uh, to make your life a little bit easier here. From here, just gonna take a nice big inhale. And then on your exhale, think about extending that right leg back behind you, open up through the back of the leg, and then drag the foot and knee back underneath you. And again, press out. A lot of the things in this class will be, uh, you can kind of see a parallel if you have experience on the reformer. Press out and back in. Three more. Two. Again, thinking really about opening through the back of that leg more than anything. Pause with your leg long. And then from here, you're just gonna float your leg up, heel is, or foot is flexed, tap your toe down, and then again, reach up and back down. Think about lengthening through the front of that hip to lift it up. Keeping that low back out of it. Three more. Two. And last one. Lower that leg all the way down. Extend your left arm out overhead. Bend your elbow in, knee in, and press and extend. And bend in. And press. Drawing your right rib toward your left hip, left hip toward your, or left rib toward your right hip. To keep you nice and square towards the floor. Two more. Last one, pause with your arm and leg extended. Float the leg up and then let the leg and arm go out in opposite directions. So right leg to the right, left arm to the left, and then resist to bring them back to the center. And then back out and center. And out and center. Three more. Not a very big change of direction here. Last one. And then plant your foot back down and then slide your foot over to the right as you bend your left arm underneath you. Bring it back to the center as you extend your arm. Bend that arm in as the right leg goes out and center. And out and center. Three more. Just having that range of motion be whatever is comfortable for your hip. It can be nice and small. Two. And last one. And then bend that leg in, place your right hand down. You can sit back on your feet and give your wrists a little roll to give them a break here. And we're gonna trade sides. So, <coughs> and we'll come over this way. Uh, go ahead and have that towel now underneath that left foot, both hands on the mat. And from here, you're just gonna reach and open that leg back behind you and then resist to bring it back in. And then press out and back in. Think about your sitting bone reaching back behind you as you bend that knee underneath you. Neck is nice and long, gaze is more or less straight down or slightly ahead of your mat. Pressing the floor away with those hands for three, two, and last one. Leave that leg long and then float that leg up and tap it down. Again, thinking about finding that extension through the front of the hip. Lifting from where the hamstring meets the glute for four, three, <coughs> two, and last one. Pause with that leg lifted, extend the right arm long and then lower that leg down, bend it in underneath you and extend, and bend, and extend. Again, finding that X across the front of your body for support. Two more. Last one. And then float that left leg up, and then reach the arm and leg out in opposition, and then drag them back to center line. And then reach them out, drag back in for four, 
three, two more. Last one. Drop that foot back onto the towel, arm extends, and then drag that leg around to the side as you bend your right arm in, and then reach it long. Think about pulling something back and then release, but resist as you extend your arm long. Feel your shoulder blade gently slide in towards that spine. Two more. And last one. And lower your right hand. Bring that knee in underneath you. Sit back onto your heels. Move your towel over by your left side by your hand. And then just give your wrists a little roll here. And then you can bring your hands down onto your thighs. And then just nod your chin and think about rounding your spine down, having your ribs come meet your hips. And then unpeel your spine. Find that neutral space and your head will be the last thing to lift. One more time, just like this, getting a nice little round to the back. And peel yourself back up. And then from here, think about lengthening your chest up towards the ceiling. Gaze can come back, but neck is still supported. And then resist back down to that neutral. And then again, think about lengthening and lifting open through the collarbones. Tailbone stays heavy and then resist back down. One more time with this tiny little extension here. And back down. Great. One more time for now, back on hands and knees. You may want to come over to the side of your mat so that your left hand on the towel isn't too far away from being underneath your shoulder. You can always have, you know, one knee on the mat and one off, but you are going to extend your left arm straight in front of you and then resist to pull it back in. And as you extend, it doesn't need to come very far, literally any bit in front of your shoulder works. And then just feel the drag back through the heel of that hand to bring your arm underneath you. Right arm stays straight for now and pull it under. Nothing changes in the torso, just that engagement through that left side. Three more. Two. And last one. And then from here, you're gonna bend your elbow close to your body on your right side as you extend your left arm long. And then really press through both arms equally as you come back up. So you're doing like a modified push up here. That right arm bends as your left arm comes overhead. And then pull back through the heel of the hand, press through the right palm as you come up. And out. <coughs> and up. <coughs> Excuse me. And back up. Four more just like this. Check in on your low back. Make sure you haven't started to arch your back or round your back, whichever your uh, go-to is. Last one like this. Good pause here. Now you're going to let your left arm come out to the side and then resist to bring it back in. And left arm goes out to the side and resist to bring it back in. Again, right arm stays straight, just out to the side and then feel that pull through the chest, engagement through the back and shoulders as you bring it in. Not moving very much for three, two, and last one. And now we're gonna add that little push up. So bend the right arm as the left arm goes out to the side and then resist to pull it back in. And then bend the right arm, elbow stays close to your body bending back more or less behind you and back in for three two last one and pause at the top and then you're going to spin around if you need if you don't have a giant wall next to you you could just swap to the other side of your mat just one thing before we switch to the other side if this is too much in your wrist at any point especially since your mat is rolled over you can just bring the heel of your hand onto the mat and your like the rest of your palm uh, onto the floor and that'll decrease sort of the amount of flexion in your wrist. So if you need a little break from your wrist, you can do that. You can also do this um, like standing on a wall as well. So first things first, you're just gonna send that right arm out in front of you and pull it back in. 
and again pull or let it go out in front of you just a few inches and then resist and drag it back in ribs and hips are not changing the distance between them pull it back in for four three <coughs> two last one and then from here you're gonna bend that left elbow close towards your body as you extend through the right arm and then push and bring that arm back in bend and push Again, your hips are just sort of staying even over your knees. Your weight isn't shifting forward or back. And up. And reach. And push. Two more. And last one. Coming all the way up. Perfect. Now we're going to go out to the side. So just open out to that right side just a little and then resist to bring it back in. And open out to the right and back in and out to the right resist back in three more two and last one and then we're going to add that little push-up so arm goes out to the right bend that elbow on the left side and then pull back in for six and reach Four more, nice and, neck is nice and long. Three. Keep the weight like heavy in that right hand, not like, actually do it. Last one. All the way in. And then just round yourself all the way up. And you can just completely fold your mat again and bring it out in front of you. And you're gonna come to stand with your uh, right foot on <coughs> the towel. Take a second, maybe get some water if you need. We're going to do a little bit of standing stuff and then we'll go back and do some bridging and then we'll end with a little bit of planking with our lovely towel. So, <coughs> standing here, you're going to have your hips right over your knees and let your knees be nice and soft. You want your ribs to be gently closed so you're not arching your back and sticking your ribs wide out. You can always put your hands on your ribs to uh, keep you aware. So from here, your right toes are on the towel. And you're just going to extend your right foot out to the side, bend that right knee, and then resist to drag it back in. And then bend your right knee, leg or left leg, out to the side on the right foot. And then reach. Toes stay more or less pointing forward. Only going to whatever range of motion is comfortable for you where you can keep your hips even. So you don't want to be side bending and you don't want to hip hike as you bring that out leg in or dip. Whichever one is your uh, go to. And out to the side and back in three more like this. Two. Last one, pause here. Stay in this little half bent squat situation with that left leg, pull the right leg in, keep it bent. And then reach it out to the side and then pull it back in. Left leg doesn't move. So if we were on the reformer, you'd be standing with one foot on the carriage, one foot on the platform, and you'd be doing skaters. Three more. Two. Last one. And then come all the way in and stand all the way up. All right, so turning to face the other direction. <coughs> Towel is still on that right foot. This time you're gonna keep your right leg straight, left leg is gonna bend and you're gonna reach that leg back and then you're gonna feel like you're sliding those legs together to come all the way up. And then reach back and slide those legs to come all the way back in. You should get your glute on the left side, Your whole inner thigh on that right side. Make sure your weight has not rolled to just the inside or outside of that left leg. And reach back. Again, on the reformer, this would be front splits. Also, if you're on the chair, this would be uh, kneeling or standing the step downs. Same thing. So as you bring those legs together, feel about reaching nice and tall. You can do four more. Three, two, last one, 
stay here. Keep this left leg bent. You're gonna bend your right leg underneath you and extend it out long, bend it in and extend for six. Four, three more, two, last one, bring it all the way in and sit all the way up. Good. From here, <coughs> you're going to come down to your little squat, you're going to send your right leg out to the side, sweep it around to the back, bend it in, press back, sweep around, and notice how your weight wants to change in that left foot, back in out, sweep it back, pull it in, and back, sweep around, and pull it in, four more, three, we will give our left side a break from stabilizing in just a minute, two, last one here, Press it back, sweep it around, and then stand all the way up as you bring it in. Give that left leg a break. Uh, find a wall that you can hold on to. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, not on your knee, above the knee. And then sit back into a figure four stretch. You can also just sit down on the ground and do the same thing. Take a couple breaths here. <coughs> really think about sticking your butt out getting a nice stretch on that left side. And then stand all the way up and we will switch sides. So, towel under that left foot to start. You're just gonna send that right, or left leg rather, out to the side. Right leg's gonna bend, legs pointing forward, and then stand all the way up as you come in. And then out, and in. Same thing as other side, hips stay square, your knees are tracking forward, that right knee right over your toes, upper body is relaxed, ribs are closed. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Stay here in this nice low squat, extend that left leg and pull it back in. And you can make this challenging by thinking about adding resistance that doesn't exist, that's not there. Add in your brain, it really works. Or you can just like slide your foot in and out. It's whatever you need, do that. For three, two, last one. Come all the way in and stand all the way up from here. <coughs> right knee is going to be nice and soft. It's going to bend as you reach that back leg forward. Heel is up and then come back in. I'm just give myself a little more space here. And then reach back and then press to resist and lift nice and tall. So again, think if you're on that chair or reformer, your right foot is on the either the top of the seat of the chair or the platform of the reformer. That left leg would be on the pedal or on the carriage. You're trying to find a little bit of height as you come all the way up. You're bringing those inner thighs together to come up and reach back down. And up. Three more. And last one. And then pause back. Right leg stays bent. Drag that right leg, or left leg rather, and reach it back. Open through the back of the leg, in front of the hip. Pull it in and up in. For six. Five. Press to that right leg. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Come all the way in. Stand all the way up. And then we're going to add a little rotation. So, left leg out to the side. So weave it back behind you, bend it in, press back, ooh, I found the spot where there's water on the floor, <laughs> making that a little tricky, out to the side, so weave it back, in, and back, and around, and in. 
That right leg is probably getting nice and tired now, minus two. And around, and in. Four more. Three. Nice and smooth, as smooth as you can make it through that left leg. Just stabilizing with that right side. Last one. And back. Sweep it around and come all the way up. Ooh, shake your legs out. Slide that towel off to the side. Grab onto something for support if you need. And sit back into a figure four here. Good, and then come all the way up. <coughs> With your mat double folded, you're gonna bring your right knee onto the towel and your left leg onto um, the extra folded towel. From here, you are going to send your right leg away. Your feet can more or less stay still, and then you're gonna resist to bring it back in. So as your leg goes out, your left leg more or less stays the same. But then you're gonna think about wrinkling uh, the towel or the mat underneath your knees, like to bring it up toward your pelvis to bring that right thigh in. Lot of inner thigh work, press down through the leg and then reach up through the pelvic floor and the inner thighs to bring it in. It'll be super tiny. Two more like this. Last one. Good, and now you're gonna press out with both legs and then in with both legs. We're only gonna do five of these. Press out with both legs, in with both legs. So think about stretching the mat underneath you and then wrinkling it underneath you. Two more. This may be a little intense on your kneecap, no problem, that's why we're only doing five of them. And then go ahead and switch sides. If you want, you can always give yourself a little extra fold on that uh, mat, or the towel rather. So here on the other side, <coughs> gentle tuck under of the pelvis, find that connection between the ribs and the hips, front ribs are closed, and then let that leg come out and then drag it back in. Right side stays as a stabilizing side, so smaller range of motion here. Resisting out really dragging it back in again think that inner thigh both of them rather lift up towards the center a little lift of the pelvic floor as you exhale inhale as you fill up exhale as everything lifts two or three more like this last one and we're gonna add both legs good from here Press out evenly with both legs, as wide as is comfortable, and then feel everything draw up and in as you exhale. Using your breath here will be very helpful. Think about initiating your exhale and then moving. Three more. Two. And last one. Good, and then come all the way onto your back, unroll your mat, and give yourself plenty of room so that you're eventually going to put your uh, foot on the towel, but you don't need to yet. So you're just gonna have your feet on the floor and then let your head and back, make sure your head is supported by the uh, mat. This way it's not on the ground, uncomfortable for no reason. And then from here, <coughs> Excuse me. Bring your feet as wide or wider than your hips. Mat distance works. And you're just going to windshield wiper your legs from one side to the other. Nice and gently here. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then bring your right foot onto the towel. And then just pause here. 
You can bring your hands onto your hips and or your ribs if that feels good. You're just gonna think about shortening that distance on an exhale, finding that length through the low back, pressing it gently into the floor as you tuck your tailbone under, but hips stay heavy on the floor. And then release and find that neutral pelvis. And then again, inhale, exhale, tuck the tailbone under, find that gentle press down, the connection between the ribs and the hips, and then let that lengthen back to that neutral distance. One more time, like this. And then release to neutral, keeping yourself in neutral. You're gonna lift the toes on that right foot, and you're just gonna reach your left leg or right leg long, and then press through the heel and drag that leg back underneath you. And we've done this more or less, just sliding our foot on the mat. But you can really start to feel the press and the engagement through the hamstring as you have the glider or the towel, which helps your foot move a little bit more smoothly. So think like right now you have a rubber band between your heel and your sitting bone, and you wanna resist to bring it back together as slowly as possible. That hip stays heavy. Two more on the right side, just like this. And back in. Last one. Good, and again, keep thinking about this drag in of the heel, and you're gonna switch over to the left side. So now your left heel's on the towel, toes are lifted. Extend that leg long, hips stay nice and square. The weight isn't pouring into that left hip or the right and then resist as you press it in. Drag your heel towards your butt, and then reach out. And then think about reaching the knee up towards the ceiling, heel towards your shoulders as you bring it in. <coughs> Excuse me. And then to find that engagement even more, press a little bit harder through the floor to pull it in. Last one. Good. And then just, you can put the towel in between your two feet or just move it out to the side for a second. You're going to find that tuck of the tailbone, arms are long by your side, and then continue that tuck as you peel yourself all the way up. Find yourself in a nice bridge. Your shoulder blades are entirely on the floor. You're not pressed open. Your ribs aren't open. Your ribs are nice and closed. Your hips are not particularly high. And then feel that press of the feet and that little drag through the heels, even though your feet aren't moving that hamstring engagement, and then slowly, slowly soften yourself and roll all the way back down. We're gonna do one more time just like that. Press your feet through the floor. Find that engagement through the hamstrings like we just did, single leg. <coughs> and then roll back down. All right, pause at the bottom, grab that towel, put it underneath your right foot. Same thing, curl your tailbone under, peel yourself all the way up. And then from here, you're just gonna extend that le right leg rather long, heel on the floor, toes up towards the ceiling, press and drag it in underneath you. And then again, extend. This time your hips are floating in the air. Find a height that is comfortable for you, where you're not dipping through the hip. They're staying nice and square, and then resist back in. <coughs> Four more, we're doing eight total. If your hamstring starts to cramp, you can do this with your leg extending and pulling back in, but really think about that engagement through the back of your leg. Last one. And then all the way in, plant that foot, and then peel yourself all the way back down. And then slide the towel over to the left foot. Now you know exactly where we're going. <coughs> Curl the tailbone under, find that length through the back. Settle into a nice bridge here at the top. Ribs to hips are connected, front ribs close, lift the toes and extend. And then press through the heel and drag it back in. Make sure your right knee hasn't started to fall out to the side. You wanna think about squeezing an imaginary ball in between your inner thighs, but like your pelvis is, your pelvic floor is what's holding it up rather than like your knees squeezing it. Four more. <coughs> Six. 
same thing, that press through the heel, the drag back, getting through that whole hamstring, two. Last one. Plant that left foot down, peel your spine down one vertebrae at a time and release your hips at the bottom, bring your knees in towards your chest and gently rock back and forth from one side to the other. Good, and then from here, you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee, or thigh rather, not your knee, and then pull that in towards your chest. Your hands are hooked behind the left thigh. You can flex your feet. You can think about externally rotating through that right leg, through the upper leg anyway. Tailbone is nice and heavy. Take a few breaths here. One more. Good, and then uncross your legs. Left ankle crosses over your right thigh near your knee. Hands thread through, grab behind the right thigh. Again, you can flex the feet, press that tailbone down into the floor. <coughs> Externally rotate that left leg from the femur. Most importantly, breathe. One or two more breaths. And then uncross your legs, and then you're gonna roll yourself up. <coughs> Grab some water if you need. We are going to end with a couple of minutes of planking and then a minute or two of some feel good things. So I intend to do this on my hands, but if you prefer, you can come down onto your forearms at any time. You can also drop your opposite knee and leave it on the floor and just do sort of another set of the single leg um, work that we've done in all fours earlier. Your choice for how to modify this. Um, but I'll give you some options along the way. So first things first, having your, <coughs> excuse me, hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips to start. <coughs> You're gonna reach back through that left leg and then think about opening up through the front of the hip and the back of the knee. Press up and then feel that connection between the heels of your hands and your toes. And then you're gonna lift, press through that right foot, lift your right knee off the floor. Extend your right knee back to meet your left and then drag it back in underneath you. And then press it out and drag it back in. Think almost like you're reaching over the edge of a cliff if your mat is rolled up, you've created a little imaginary cliff for yourself. Think about reaching nice and long through the crown of your head. Two more just like this. Last one. Come all the way in, drop your knee, and then bring your other knee down. From here, <coughs> we're going to stay on that right foot on the towel. Reach back through the right leg. Reach back so far through that right heel that on your exhale, you can float that left leg up off the floor. And if it's too much, you can just leave the toe on the ground and come up into sort of a modified bear plank. We're gonna do six of these. So inhale, exhale, lift. That knee comes in towards your chest and lower back down. And again, if you're doing the bear plank, the toes are tucked under and you just lift the knee off the ground. Up and back down, three more. two, and down, last one, lift, hold here, extend that leg back behind you, bend that knee in, and extend, and in, and extend, two more, and out, last one, don't let that right leg slide away, and bring that knee in, and bring your right leg in, knees wide, hands out in front of you, sit back into a nice child's pose here before we trade sides. <coughs> Good. And then you're going to bring that towel over underneath that right or left foot rather on your hands or forearms. I'll do forearms this time. You are going to extend your right leg back behind you and then you're going to extend that left leg back behind you and then bend that left knee in and extend. If you're in those four, that forearm plank, your hips need to be lifted a little bit to give yourself space for that knee. 
in and out for six not six i'm sorry four three two and last one and then pause here bend that knee down and bend the other knee down from here extend your left leg and then you're going to take a big inhale exhale float that right leg up and lower it down and up and inhale and up and down for five and this should last you know as long as your breath lasts so kind of go at your own pace here but you're lifting on that exhale and you've started that exhale before you move last one pause with that knee lifted extend it long and back in for eight neck is nice and long four three two last one lower down find that child's pose perfect and coming all the way up we're gonna change our towel for the first time you're gonna open it all the way <coughs> that you have space now for both of your feet if you are not comfortable doing this we're gonna do somewhere between eight and ten reps you can do four to five reps on one side and then on the other side sort of repeating what we just did that totally works again forearms or hands your choice and from here you're going to bring both of your feet onto the towel. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, find that bear plank. You're going to extend both legs back behind you and then bend both knees and bring them back in. So if not, you're just doing the same thing we did. Very first plank out and back in. In and out. And if you need to adjust your range of motion, come out two to three inches, bring your knees right back in underneath you or you can do this whole range of motion. This would all be part of like the planking series you do on the reformer with your feet on the reformer, hands on the foot bar, three more, two, last one, bend those knees in, drop down into a child's pose. Have your knees nice and wide. Really feel your chest melt down towards the floor. You can roll your wrists out if that feels good. And you're gonna reach over to the right side. Think about really reaching back through that right sitting bone and then press both hands on the, both hands on the right side away from you. Getting that nice stretch through your lats. And then bring your right hand, bend it towards your, and bring it by your shoulder on the floor. And you're just going to press into that hand and twist, or not twist, rotate yourself open. And then release back down. Inhale, and then exhale, rotate open. And back down. One more time. And down. And then just extend both arms reach a little bit farther over towards the right and with a nice soft breath exhale and then try to soften your body a little bit here and then walk yourself back to the center and then up and over towards the other side so reach those arms over to the left reaching back through that left sitting or right rather sitting bone Press your hands away, getting that nice stretch through the lat as well. And then bend and plant your left hand near your left shoulder. Inhale and then exhale. Rotate. And rotate back down. And rotate. Keep reaching long through that right hand. Inhale and then exhale. One more rotation. Extend that arm long. And then soften your body all the way. Just relax in this nice side stretch here. Good. 
Come back through the center and slowly roll your roll. Roll yourself all the way up <coughs> in a nice tall kneeling position. Find your ribs stacked over your hips. Your shoulders are nice and relaxed. And you're gonna reach long through the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Clasp your thumbs together and gently reach over towards the right one more time. Shoulders are relaxed. Ears are not being squeezed to death by your biceps. All the way up, over to the left. Ears just between them. All the way up towards the ceiling. Reach a little taller through the fingertips. Hands rotated away from you and then release your arms down. Growing a little taller like a corkscrew. And then when your arms find your sides, you are all finished. Thanks.